Disclaimer, we are not professionals. We are not financial advisors. This is not financial advice. Do your own due diligence and enjoy the video. What's going on, guys? VV Vision back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about a $500 shopping list. Me and Ben are both going to be doing $500 shopping lists. So let's get into the video. Ben, Sir. would you like to start? Or would you like me to start? Okay, I have multiple lists. So I'll do one to begin with. Um, and they all have hard stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I have like some different categories. So the first one I went with, if you're looking to complete a full set while getting uh, some like gamification type of things, I'm thinking uh, Captain Carter for like 260 and the rare Throg for 109. Um, because I think I can see Throg possibly having gamification. I think it looks really nice and uh, pretty good rarity. How many mints does the rare have? Uh, 4,225. Yeah, I think that's pretty good for like 110 gems. So I would go with that if you're looking for like superhero themed, or if I was, if I had 500 and I was looking for like superhero themed, uh, like possibility of gamification and completing one set all under $500. And that's like, that's like 369 total which is still under. So you could probably snag up the, the uncommon Throg um, or get another superhero possibly. But those were the main two that kind of built that set for me. How about you? Okay. Uh, I So I got the Captain Carter as well. It, Captain Carter is literally like... It's so undervalued right now. Yeah, Even though and, it's not as cool as Superman or whatever, it's still so undervalued. Yeah, it's the cheapest set. I have it. I have, like our calculations are going to be a little bit different because the market is changing all the time. Yeah. I have Captain Carter at 259. And then with it, the, our lists are kind of so, like similar so far. But then we got the <laughs> Throg Uncommon. Uncommon. Yeah. Yeah. Uncommon's think... only 58 right now. Yeah. That dang yeah it's actually how it was many over 100 for a, a long time so like eight thousand mints um 6630 holy yeah and this is the first appearance like that's the only one of the three that's first appearance? uh they might all be but yeah they're all but still like dang. a first appearance of throg for only yeah. 58 gems that is for a long-term hold i think the uncommon is a low risk possibly high reward type of thing yeah and then with that i was thinking if you like adventure time then i'm thinking finn and jake so jake's 65 and finn is 49 yeah those are season ones the second drops ever to come out on bb yeah that's and crazy. it's a finn and a jake like it's literally the two main characters yeah i think those are some good snags yeah um so yeah, that's pretty much that. I was thinking I'm just gonna finish like with mine because then we can go back to yours because I use kind of the same thing. I'm keeping the Captain Carter for sure. Um and then sorry, I don't I'm basically about to just list some of the other ones because <laughs> I got kind of confused with the prices, but <laughs> the smork and red labbit is at 185, having a labbit in your $500 yeah. collection is a super good idea just for yeah. gamification, breeding, all that in the future. Um, if I can find it. So either the uh, Smirk and Red Labbit for 185 or I was thinking if you want to go with a cheaper route, you could do the choice because that's still that's still from season one. I mean, it's the cheapest Labbit you can buy right now and it's yeah. from season one. So I was thinking possibly that one. And then if you get that, like that with the set instead of the red one. Yeah. And not Finn or Jake, stash. you could get like either Finn with it and the DeLorean, or you could get Jake. So I was thinking the DeLorean one six, by the way. Oh yeah. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't do one for vehicles, but I think this is just I the one six. Though. One, yeah. Not the but, actual. How much is it though? Like 30? Yeah. Yeah. I think if I were to go for a vehicle, I think I'd go for the DeLorean out of anything. Like, especially if I went for interactive or static, 
I'd probably try to go for that. I don't know if it's under 500, but if I were to do a vehicle one, that's probably what I'd go for. Um, or is that it for your stats? Um, yeah. All right. For mine, I was thinking if you're big on Batman and you want some good Batman uh, collectibles for under 500 total, um, Joe Maduera or I don't know how to say it. And then Jason Fabok. Um, Joe Mad is season one. I think it's like 7,000 mints, which pretty crazy. Uh, and it's sitting at like 5,500. Yeah. 315. Yeah. So I think that's good. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's good. Uh, and then Jason Fabok, I saw at 137. And that's the season two with maybe five to seven thousand mints five thousand five yeah yeah. so i think those are pretty low mints i mean the jason fabic especially i think it looks really cool and the uh i mean the price is really low uh and i also like the joe mad for like in terms of artwork uh but yeah that was my like more like batman themed posters like batman black and white specific i think i would also maybe go for like jim lee joker or harley quinn in one if i could but i don't that might be a little over the budget and then uh if you want posters if you're a big poster person and you're looking to complete a set at the same time any of the james bond posters are all under 500 so you know, you could look into that. I think uh, season two for the posters was my favorite. Maybe season three as well. I think two was my favorite. Yeah, those. I liked I liked three because of the rare. Because it's got the gun on it. <laughs> I, and yeah, and the, the gun. Yeah, the gun has the brand, which means they have they own the license for the yeah. gun company and so if the gun gets released this will probably raise in value more than the other posters true yeah i either of those i just really don't like the rare on that set the like you don't the one i just said yeah the 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 one on the the ultra rare oh. the ultra rare, not the rare i, yeah, I don't that either. is like the worst poster in my opinion but um yeah either season two or season three is probably what i'd go for even though season one has that like I guess clout associated with it being season one, but um, I I think this. If you were to pick one in your five hundred, what would it be? Because this would be mine for sure. Yeah, probably just because undervalued. I think it'll jump up at least double in the future, and uh, completes a set possible gamification. I think it just has a lot going for it. So yeah, yeah, that, if- that would be the like core of my set. If you guys don't know a bunch about like VV because you're watching a $500, what you'd buy, then a set like in the near future with the master collectors program will reward you. And the more like sets you have, the more points you'll get like daily or weekly, however it is. But basically this is the cheapest set right now. The girl is kind of rumored to be gamification at one point because she's a Marvel Captain mighty. Carter. Yeah. yeah. I think I I definitely see that happening. But. So that I th- I think this is a super good pickup for under five hundred. Yeah, that's like my top. And then what would you say your top is if you were to not pick that? Um, that's a really hard one. I think you're also a big Labbit guy. I feel yeah. like the Labbit. I, one I is have super... a Labbit set that I was going to talk about. That's the last set I had. Okay. So for a full set for the Labbits, I was thinking red smorking and the. The season one regular visible, not the neon, but the regular. That'll put you a little bit over 500 right now. But I think the visibles are going to be some of the most valuable, especially if breeding comes just because there's so much detail. Um, yeah. But yeah, I was thinking that in a red smorkin or that in a corpsman, maybe. Ooh. I think the corpsmen are kind of undervalued. But you could pick a labacorn up, honestly. Yeah, but that's gonna be most of one, your gems. I I don't know. I still think that could be worth it because I think that's yeah. gonna be super valuable in the future. Um yeah. and then yeah, that was my lab at set. If you were just going for one under 500, I'd definitely say the labicorn or the neon visible if it ever drops below 500 again, because I I think the neon visible is like should be the most valuable Wait, wasn't out of the, season one. The neon visible 
I it said is. the regular visible. The neon oh. is the oh, other yeah. one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, 529. <laughs> That's decent. That got up there. What was it before? It was at like seven something. And I definitely see it surpassing that in the future. So, yeah. All right. Um, drop your comments down below if you guys have your little yeah. $500 wish list, because we definitely love to check those out and just know what you guys would like to do for 500. We'll probably have more videos like this in the future, like maybe a thousand dollar shopping list or something like that like, yeah. in the future. So make sure you guys subscribe, like the video if you liked it. Hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified whenever we post. This is VV Vision, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go, homie, homies. Let's go, let's go, homie.